Hey Dreamers, this is Jectoplace, and this is the third episode of the Road to the Chocolate Sprinkles mini game or whatever it's going to call because I have no clue yet what I'm going to call it, but that's going to be it. Um, in the last video, we made the plate, and as you can see, it's still there and it's still with the circle inside, but I'm going to remove it in this video. So I really want to like change the little bit of the plate. Uh, to make it more like that it's been used and everything. And after that, we're going to make the bread in 3D. So I'm going to uh, sculpt the bread, which is a little bit more difficult here, I would say. Like, you have like a lot of like, um, yeah, you have the crust going on. And I'm not really sure like how realistic I will go for. I think I will go semi realistic. So it's going to be not like it's. One-on-one uh, -on -one, like realistic looking bread, but like I'm, I'm trying to Get it as close as possible because like I don't want to overdo the graphics that much um, so um, Yeah, because like you also have to make like the whole world around it um, But yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, Without further ado, I don't want to talk too much in the intro. I really want to get like, start straight away um, because like I know that I talk always a lot in my videos, so I'm just going to start. Now, the first thing we're going to like, like I said, we're going to um, yeah, we're, like change the plate a little bit. Like I was not really happy with the design that I did last time, so I'm going to use the spray paint again, and I'm going for the white, and poof, and it's gone. I don't think. Oh, uh, yeah, we also removed that part. <laughs> um, so what we. <laughs> What we have to do is just like, um, oh, don't know why I did that. Uh, use the service snap, of course, and then like, uh, bzzzum, and it's gone. Okay, like, I, I think I kind of like it without the circle in the center. Um, I'm not sure if there were any comments, were any comments saying that. Uh, if you were saying that, then you're absolutely right, and I totally agree with you on it. So it's gone, and I also want to do now is that like it's been used a little bit, so we're going still for the white uh, spray paint, but I'm going for like soft blend, and we're using like opacity as low as possible, so we can like go a little bit nuts on this. And also, what I'm going for is we change the, um, the spray a little bit. And I can, you can turn it if you want. I'm, I'm just going to turn it very slowly, and just like paint it on different parts. Uh, maybe what we can do is use the kaleidoscope a little bit, and I think with five is fine. I don't want to have that that the thing is going to be into repeat, um, but we can like remove a little bit of the. Of the hard blue parts a little bit, so it's like a little bit softer and blend in a little bit better. Um, so I think that the way it looks fine. So now we're going to remove the kaleidoscope again, and now we're going to tweak it a little bit further. So I think that like this one is a little bit like fade away almost. So I think that like here or so, Maybe here. And if you do that, like you will see that, like it, it becomes more naturally, right? Like it becomes more that, it's like it's actually being used quite a lot. Um, and I kind of like to do that. So this one maybe it's almost gone here. And I'm just going to go all to the plate and till I am like quite satisfied so you can see that like the plate is not really uh, very new anymore so it's um yeah it's like it's been used and you can always tell the um, the difference what we had before and now it's like it's always like a huge a huge difference um, the next thing what I want to do is oh we still removed the ah well it doesn't really matter I, I, I think it was like it's still a little bit weird anyway so uh, <laughs> Let's uh, let's oh, let's remove it in total. It doesn't really matter. Actually, it doesn't really matter at all. Let me come on close. 
There we go. It doesn't matter. We don't need it. Um, so another thing what we can do is um, make it more that like the plate is actually old and stuff like that. So it, maybe we can do like little cracklings in it. Um, I've never really done this before, but we can try to do it. Um, first, we need a little bit darker, so I'm going for a darker, um, so like this, this one here. And but we're not going for the full color. We're going for the opacity as low as possible. And I'm going to make this as small as possible as well. And then we're going to like see if we can. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe use Kaleidoscope because this is going to take a long time. But I don't want to like repeat too much um, into the plate because like that will be looking really weird if we're doing that. Um, let me turn on the opacity a little bit further. even sure if we can see anything. For some reason I don't see anything. Okay, now now I'm seeing stuff. Okay, apparently like we cannot do too like too light on the Um, I'm not so sure if I will, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do it in Kaleidoscope. I'm not really a fan of that, to be honest. Let me, let me go back as much as possible. So we remove that part, there we go. Because like the longer you paint on the scope, the, the the higher the graphics will be as well. So you have to be careful with that. Okay, so we're not going for the uh, client scope because I don't really like that. Um, but I do, I do really want to see if we... Um, we can change a little bit. Oh, that's way too much. I think I think the contrast between that is still I think we need to uh to do it ourselves. Like having a a bit lighter than that one. This is a lot of work, I can tell you that. I'm not sure if I would go for this, to be honest. <laughs> this is a lot of painting, a lot of work. I don't, I don't think I will do this. Um, that's that's a lot of work. And to be honest, for, for a mini game that I'm building, I don't think that would make much sense if we're doing it. The only thing that I really want to do is that, like, I want to um, change a little bit of the cutting in the... Um, so what I'm doing is using a cone and make that cone as small as possible. Let me edit this, please. There we go. And also remove the service snap for this one. And I don't know how it looks inside uh, if you actually break it. <laughs> um, but it'd be something like this.
you also have to cut it in the in, the, in this plate here. Something like that. I mean, you don't really have to do this though, but... Like, I, I kind of want to do it. Alright, there we go. And... I think that's all I'm going to do with this here. Maybe, maybe what I can do, and I'm going for the kaleidoscope again. Then 20. And I'm going for a square. And stretch this a little bit out. So I'm not going for a complete uh, round um, surface. Um, And here we're going for just like just normal whites. At least the one that we used. Just like this. And uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because like then, yeah, even though it's not really, still looks a little bit weird. Not sure if I, uh, Okay, it looks, uh, this is not what I want. Um, because, like, I, I don't want to have that gets perfectly round. So I really want to see what would be the, the best way to do this. I think if we do this and then mirror mount, so we have it, like, on almost all sizes. Yeah, uh, sub plan doesn't really help. Maybe not with um, No, I do really need to wait, maybe as big as possible and then Like if you make like the thing too round, like it it looks, it looks almost fake, right? So I I kind of wanna prevent that um, from everything. And I think that this is uh, this is good. So 
don't see uh I, th I think this is fine. I think maybe I still want to do. Is that too much? Too mu the question is, is this too much? I think this is too much. I think I will keep it like this. I think this is fine. Definitely fine. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, paint in paint mode, and I will. Um, we can keep this. That's fine. That's totally fine. And uh, let's change to sphere mode. Now we're going for subplant and not this color, but a little bit like. Like we're going to use like not like black but like uh like this one here. So darker at least. And we need a serve snap. And then opacity as low as possible. And then we're going to paint over it. Um so the reason why I'm doing this is so it, it's not becoming too too clean anymore. And it actually just looked like it's uh it has seen some days, right? Um yeah, this is uh I think we are done with the plate. Um I don't see anything that I can do still with this one here. Um it's it seems fine. Seems fine by me. We can test it a little bit with the lightning before we go into exit it. So we can like put like sun skybox in this and see how it will like re react to the sun and lightning i always put like creates effects in there as well and like play a little bit with the settings that i often use um just to give myself a little bit the idea of like yeah okay like this is uh oh this is something that i actually might like and I'm not changing too much of the of the settings, but just like um, the most common ones to see if everything, like if the lightning bounds correct, if the colors are like being shown correct and everything like that. So, um, so I have like a little bit of like um, an indication if the um, if the sculpt is alright, and I think this is alright. Um, so we're going to delete this one again. And then we are going to save this version, yes. Okay, so that's for the plate, but I'm not done with this part of the video yet. So we're going now for the sculpting the uh, the bread itself. Um, it's been a while. I did make the bread once before. Uh, that was like one and a half, one and a half year ago. <laughs> Uh, in dreams, that was like my very first attempt in, um, in in dreams to make bread. So this is going to be a lot of fun to do it again. Um, remove the hover effects, and I think the best way is to start with grid, to be honest. And then we're going for um, what is smart. I th I can go for like the rounded cube as first. I use this as base model, but I'm also going for the mirror mode to see um, let me see where it is okay. So because like, I really need to see where the middle part is because I didn't really need that. So it will, it will save me a lot of time with sculpting and um, and the shape. So I'm going to use this as the base shape of everything. And I think I'm going to make a more of a Dutch bread. Um, like we have like a, um, you probably have that as well. Um, but we have like a heart shape, almost heart shaped breads. Um, I need to have a little bit of like an example. Uh, <laughs> um, I think I go for that. Because like we, there are like so many different shapes uh you have in in um uh 
in the bakery um, or in, in, in the grocery store. Um, I think I might want to go. You have like a round shape. Like um, you, I think you see that often in Germany. Uh, you have like the round shape, and, but you also have like the heart shape that it's often that you're seeing here. <coughs> um, so I might go for that one, um, even though I never buy bread like that. To be honest, <laughs> um, I mostly buy bread that is like have like more of like a portal. <laughs> um, so maybe I would go for that one instead. That. Um, what should I do? What should I do? What kind of shape are we going for here? Oh, there are so many different shapes. Um, a, to be honest, to be honest, to be honest. Do, 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 do. I, I, you, I don't even know if if like heart shaped breads like but well, like basically but breads like <laughs> I don't think that they are made anymore to be honest I, I at least like in my grocery store I don't see them as often like it's mostly like like arc ways bread these days um that they because like with with like the the heart shaped bread like you like you always have problems like, because, like, if they they always collapse in, in inside each other, it was, it's always a disaster with such bread. Um, but it it is very iconic, um, so I might as well go for it. Um, because, like, it, it it it's still very iconic. The heart, the the butt shape. <laughs> Um, but I need to find a good picture for it. Um, because I need to see, like, how it's been shaped and everything. It's so weird. Like, if I look at Google, like, it's, there's barely heart shaped breaths being showed. It's it's ridiculous. Like it's like the most bread you see is the arcs. That's like the most common ones. That is so. That is really odd. Um, I should have maybe have searched this before I was starting the video. To be honest, <laughs> I thought like I was I can find this pretty easily. I don't know why it's so hard to find. That particular. Um, that particular bread shape. It's, it's really weird. I don't know if, if it has a special name or anything of it. Um, but I cannot find any picture. That is that is super strange. Um, that is so odd. Uh, Brett. Maybe search for the names. Maybe that is, um, uh, maybe they have a special name. They probably have a special name for it. I don't know. I see here a picture. It is white bread. Okay, it's called white bread. Okay, I'll, I will, I will, uh, I will go for this then. Uh, it's not that I only have this in white, but you you have it also in brown and everything with <laughs> I don't understand why there there are so less pictures of these things. Um, so let's. Oh, we have to be careful with this one here. If I if I'm doing it like this. Oh no, we already we already doing it in the. 
Oh, right, yeah, that's right, okay. That's perfectly fine, okay. So, it is a little bit taller, Brad. And I'm not sure if I, will, I have to go with this particular shape. Because I'm thinking maybe to go for um, a square, but I'm not sure. So now we're going for this, the, the square shape, and I'm going for this, and then we're using supplant a little bit. Um, something like that. And then we're going for the sides. Again, this is like the first time showing oh okay and then it's like uh, something like that okay We're getting there I think that like what I should do in the bottom is just like having this a little bit taller. Um, just get this a little bit better. And they have a little bit of like this here on the top uh the bottom um it's not that perfectly <laughs> um but it's it's getting the idea i think maybe it's a little bit too um i'm, I'm not really happy with this yet Because like it, it really feels that it's too thin in comparison to uh, I'm going to delete uh, the smaller ones. Okay, one, and okay, and now we need to I think this is a little bit more like it this feels this feels more like the size how it is. Okay, so now we have kind of have the shape of the bread, and it's still not that perfect, but it's it's fine. Um, I think I can deal with this. Let me delete this. Uh, we are one percent with this one. It's uh, nice. Okay. Um, right. So it's going to be like white bread in this matter. In this case, so we're going to spray paint it, and I'm going for. Um, I'm not going to use the presets because like the presets are not really what I want to go for because like it's a little bit of like yellow a little bit like in it but not too much like it's it's like it's very soft yellow basically um, because it's made out of milk and there we go so it's not completely white but like it's 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 a little bit in the, in the more in the way of uh, of yellow so that's like the good start and I think what we can try to do next is um, okay what can we do what is a good way to do this we're not going to use uh, the grid snap but we're going to use the surface snap for this and I might maybe going to change into smear mode 
uh, for this as well. And I'm just I just want to test it out. If I'm go if I'm not I'm not sure if I will go for this uh, because I'm not really sure like if this is going to look nice or anything. But I, I'm really curious how this is going to um, to look. Uh, I didn't really save this color. That's funny. Now I have to save it. Okay, and. Okay, there we go. Need to make it as small as possible. Now let me see how this is going to. Uh... I think we cannot really do mirror mode much with this one. Um, because, yeah, it will, uh, we will we'll see, we will see. Wait, before I'm doing this, because I know that smearing can take a long time, I'm going to clone this bread here. Just to save this as preset, so if we are not happy with this one, I can always go back eventually to that one. Uh, if I cannot go rewind, because eventually rewinding uh, has a limit, so you can't like like for it like rewind for eternity. Like you, you have to be careful of that situations. Um, I might. Is it, Am I doing something now? But I don't see anything here. Oh! What? 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 Oh, okay. Apparently... Apparently the, the mirror only works on one side. I don't know why. Uh, the problem with smearing is that, like smearing can take um, a lot of time as well, and I'm I'm just going to delete the mirror with this. Am I adding or deleting now? I'm adding. Okay, oh, that's that's fine. I think I need to like layer them a little bit with like adding and removing to make the holes as well. The thing is with smearing, like the the um, it will the complexity of the, the the sculpt is going to rise, so we have to be very careful for using this technique. Okay, so now I'm going to into reverse and then we're going to actually make holes inside of here. And I'm just curious how it's going to look. <laughs> Okay. Um, maybe we can change a little bit with uh, with this one here, but I don't want to really lose too much of quality. But yeah, 
would say so. I mean, it's not that bad. Maybe we should make the mirror the other way around so we can that we had like the other side of the brat. That would have maybe a little bit better. <laughs> that would have maybe have a little bit like a better solution. Um. But we have a backup, so. If this is not going to work out as I was hoping for, then I can always go back and. And then I will just do like texturing and painting over it instead of using the bump mapping uh, technique. It's all an experiment for me as well. Like I said, I only made this. I only made Brett in in Dreams once, and it was like one and a half year ago. And I didn't use the bump mapping technique uh, because, like, I kind of wanted to use it as simple as possible, and I just like used the um, just texturing, just like painting as texture, and that works fine too. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Um kind of feel that I need to do still more a little bit, but Don't want to lose ants on this side. I'm stamping it a little bit because like, I don't want to smear too long on this service. Um, but I think this is fine. I think it's fine. I'll keep the backup still. Because <laughs> um, okay, how does it look if we're going to rise up the graphics? Because that is also very important. Um, what? How is it going to look when we rise up the graphics? I see. Um, yeah, that's fine, I guess. I think we can like lower one time. There we go. That that's it. Okay. Um, so now we have to do the sights a little bit, uh, like the burning parts. Um, Okay, uh, paint, and we do this uh, in mirror mode, because uh, this is totally fine to do this in mirror mode, so we can do this in mirror mode, and we need to, I think I'm going to make an, uh, myself one, so we need a little bit of like a, a crust side, and this is a little bit tricky, I don't want to make it too brown. It's a little bit in between. Uh, this is uh, this is definitely going to be challenging. I 
think this okay let me see how is the okay seems okay and we need uh not not so much shop land to be honest um am i in painting mode yes i am in painting mode don't know why I'm not seeing anything. Why is that? Oh, okay. That is why. Um, no, we don't need much um, of the opacity, but we do need this. Okay, I'm. I'm. I'm not sure if I go for. Um, I'm going for layers. Uh, so let's start with just with this one here. It's really weird that I cannot paint a mirror on the other side. Normally it always does that. So I don't really know why that why we cannot do that now. Like normally you can always like paint whatever side you want on. I think maybe we started in mirror mode, and if you start in mirror mode, you cannot do that. Could be uh case would definitely be the case though so we first building the layer of the color so this is just like the base layer of the the crust of the the side of the bread Doesn't really matter where you actually going. Uh, as long as you're going a little bit on the side. Just like this. And once we have like the base layer, we're going to put another layer on top of it. And then another layer on top of it, and then another layer on top of it. Just to make the crust a little bit looks more like or looks better. Basically. But now like it looks very weird. This is like one color, which is not totally how bread looks. Okay, so that's that. And now all we need to do is layering the, the, the layers of the color. So I think maybe going for the preset on this one. Uh, I think they have good presets. And I'm going for more opacity, so we're going lower. And then we're going to add it up. But not everywhere, just like on parts. I'm going to do it on parts, so it gets a little bit like lighter and everything, and kind of like change. I would say just like play a little bit around with this to be honest like play a little bit with your own like likings of like what do you like the best of this um, outcome I would say and see what like because like we're not seeing this in, in the right color at the moment I think I think maybe we can do the crust a little bit on the other side as well, a little bit better. There we go. Um, I 
Also, let's change already a little bit of the settings of the bread itself. So we're going for uh, a little bit rough 70, and I would say minus 20 for uh, the waxiness because, like, um, yeah, I kind of like that on bread to be honest. Um, I still think that like maybe should lower the the quality one more time. Um, there we go. I think that's fine. And I'm going for the same technique, but then we're doing it on the whole bread a little bit. So. So it's not like one color anymore. And I'm not doing this in mirror mode. Because I'm not really a fan of that. And like change the color. Uh do this one maybe. I really need to see like with uh, with the settings on because like it's I'm completely in the dark right now of how this is going to look. So I'm just just using a little bit of like my presets that I'm normally using in my games. At least um, begin settings and everything. This is not like the final stuff, but it just like give me a little bit of an idea of like how the like lighting and that like works. Um, okay, I think I will just go for. Maybe a little bit like more. I don't want to like make it too wide because like Brett is not like 100%. It's not like it's this. Like. Like, it's not like that. Like, Brett is never like that. So, nah, it's, it's, it's like it's between, it's between, um, it's very soft yellow. So, I have to find a good mixture of this. Maybe I can go a little bit more to this side. Something like this. Um, yeah. Something like that. And I think that the sides are pretty okay. They are they are not that bad. Um, if I had to be honest with that as well, I I would say that like the um, the, the the crust we can like expand them a little bit further with the op 
capacity a little bit higher again. Uh, is this not the side of... Uh, <laughs> this is so weird. Like, I'm not used to this. Like, normally... Normally I can just, like, paint on all sides um, that I want. And I'm, I'm already not really used of that is not allowed. For, like, it's, it's really silly. Maybe I should not do it. Maybe I should not do it. Don't, don't, don't make it worse. Sir. I, I think that I am uh, pretty okay with this already. Oh wait, we can't do this. Make it a little bit darker. And Yeah, no, I was afraid of that. Like Miramo, like it's uh, it's uh, it it comes sometimes in handy, but like it's <laughs> it's stuff like this with like texturing like close to each other. It's not often the best solution. All right. Um, this might be it. I'm not saying that this is the best looking bread ever made, but <laughs> um It, it certainly can, like, improve. A lot more than this. I think maybe I should, like, done a little bit, like, a different technique. Um, but oh well. For now, I think this is okay. Um, for what I want to achieve, so let me see how it looks with the chocolates on the top of it. Um, we can also definitely tell that this rat is a lot, lot bigger than it has to be. So, should be around here. And And now we have um, chocolate chocolate flakes on bread. That's uh, how we eat. <laughs> and now we can also use the plate again we made as well. So it all comes slowly together with the assets uh, that we that we need for the game. Uh, the only thing that is still missing is um, 
is the package where the, the, the flakes are falling out and then you have to avoid them. And yeah. It would be something like this. This is something that you would see. Um, it, it really looks like, at the moment, like a little bit weird. <laughs> but that's because of the lightning. But you can, of course, change this a little bit to your likings. Um, but we already tested this in the in the in the in the settings that I'm going to use. But yeah, this is this is totally. Uh, Looking legit. I'm already getting hungry, by the way, if I see this. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah. I think that's it for this episode, for this video. So, we are almost an hour in again, um, just to make bread, and we changed the plate as well, so it's not only the bread, we also changed the plate. So, um, I say an hour, but I will probably chop it into, uh, into smaller pieces for you guys to have a little bit better, um, for, to watch. Uh, I'm going to check one more time with the settings that I'm going to use, um, Just to, just to check out how it looks. So, this is the last thing I will do before I'm going to close the video. And I legit think that the bread itself needs to be a little bit more tweaking. Uh, like you don't want to go for the yellow. It's, it's mostly the crust side that's like it's still not really that well. But other than that, I think that is this the legit looking okay. So, um, so yeah, only like the, the the bread itself needs to be tweaking. Now I already changed a little bit of that uh, before I put it everything in here. So let me redo this. Boink boink. The bread size was okay though, so we can delete this. And the bread itself is two graphics. I think that's pretty okay. Pretty okay. Well, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you uh, liked this video as well. And I will keep continuing building this project, building this mini game. Uh, you have now seen a little bit of assets built along the way. And I think maybe the next video we can already do a little bit of like the world designing. Um, so, yeah, look forward to that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And hope to see you next time. And don't forget to dream, everybody. Bye-bye.